think about this right here, YouTube. Y'all know I got my truck. I'm trying to go up with it. I'm thinking about putting a lift on it like this one right here. Look how wide that gap is. I talked to the lady on the inside and she said it's a four inch lift on here. But man, that thing looks like it's about five inches or more. Look at the gap. That's a four inch lift. That's what a four inch lift looks like, fellas. I'm thinking about going up with it on my truck. I got a 2008 Dodge Ram 1500. Grapplers on there. And she said this is her car. It ain't even her husband. This is her car. So this bad boy's sitting up right, man. Chevy 2500 HD. I don't know the year, but it looks like it could be like a 2008 model. Tell me what you think. I go up with mine like this? I think so. What's going on, YouTube? What's going on, all my leaders out there? It's your boy. I'm back with another one. If you ain't subscribed to the channel, go down there, hit that subscribe button, and uh, follow the channel, man. Y'all got to follow this movement. Yeah, I'm thinking about <clears throat> uh, lifting my truck up, as you can see. You know, I don't have a Chevrolet, but I'm thinking about getting a new truck or either lifting my um, Dodge Ram up. So, what y'all think about that, man? Let me know. I don't know if I should do that. Right now, I'm in the middle of unloading this trailer, as you can see. Got it full to the max, as you can see. Fleet managers, if you're watching, bam. You know, almost done, halfway done with the trailer. So, Hit that subscribe button. We're going to get on with the video. This your favorite driver. Stay tuned. I'll let you. Bye. Yeah, so this video, we're going to talk about how important it is to pick up. How, how important it is to pick up empty rotators and cardboard rotators when you're leaving the store. Take back to the D.C. So, um. After I get finished unloading this this um this um trailer and this stop right here, I'm gonna um, record my load of all these rotators. We gotta take back to the DC. We even got some in there. So it's very important that we take those back. You know, it was kind of funny how my fleet manager, a DM pulled me in yesterday they said they got numbers showing that I ain't picking up my rotators man my trailer be full every time I come back to the DC so I wasn't trying to hear none of that so that's why I really took the day off because I was aggravated I didn't want to be on the road like that so let me get finished with this unload and uh, at the end of this unload I'm going to show y'all how important tell y'all how important it is to pick up these rotators and show y'all how I pick up all my rotators. Y'all um, subscribe to the channel, follow me, and um, stop being a hater, man. I'm out here trying to get these people the knowledge. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah.
stupid. Got all cleaned up. On to the next stop. Now that we're done for the day, we can get into why we should pick up rotators after every stop. First of all, picking up rotators is inside the job description. So I didn't understand it yesterday when I was pulled into the office. They were saying they were showing up numbers and did some research on me not picking up what I should pick up. And everybody know that I come back with a full trailer full of empty rotators, cardboard, um, dunnage, all kind of stuff. So I just didn't get I didn't get that far, you know. So I wasn't really tripping on it, it was just aggravating, you know, that they did that. So I don't know if they really researched it or just made up some stuff trying to get me caught up in something, but I know what I do because I know I do my job well. <clears throat> but you know the point is you want to pick up those rotators you know so to all y'all drivers out there who on the dollar general account that's not picking up the rotators you know i feel where you're coming from you know they're not paying us to pick up the rotators because that's hard labor you know that's that's some hard work especially during this um summertime you know i'd like to not made it this summer you know it was hard over 100 degrees outside every day peak hours, you know, so I feel where you're coming from, man. They're not paying us to pick these rotators up. <clears throat> It'll be much sweeter if they did, you know, throw fifty, seventy five dollars out there. It ain't gotta be a whole hundred, but you know, a whole hundred would help. If we gotta unload a whole trailer for a hundred dollars, loading the trailer back up to its full capacity with empty rotators for the D C and the warehouse people should be another one hundred dollars because that's 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 hard labor man <clears throat> i got my student up front driving you know so he's knocking his hours out right now and i'm gonna go back up there in a few minutes to um, make sure he's you know in between the lines driving safe but you know he's pretty good you know if i could sit back here and get a nap in without uh, waking up hard breaking is pretty good so <clears throat> trust the behind the wheel but yeah um, picking up these rotators ain't no easy job man it's easier than unloading but it's still it's still work especially when you got to deal with inclines you got to deal with the hot weather you got to deal with wheels that don't turn you know it could be raining man it, it's a lot it's a lot you know <clears throat> it's a lot but the whole point of bringing back the rotators to the store is, well, to the DC is, um, <clears throat> so the warehouse people can, they can load them empty rotators that we bring back up with merchandise and orders. So we won't have to pick up box for box like Family Dollar, you know. And I don't want to have to pick up box for box like Family Dollar, you know. They used to do that for Dollar General back in the day, but this ain't back in the day, man. So. We need all y'all drivers to try to just come together, you know, push that, push that to the side, and just, you know, just, just, just do what you got to do in the job description, because it's going to reflect on the whole DC, it's going to reflect on our team, and Warner, we do work as a team, even though we're so low drivers, we got our own lane, and our own business to handle, we actually working as a team. I'm just speaking on my behalf, you know, I got a couple drivers out there who's on the same thing I'm on, but, you know, it's a lot of us out there that just focus on self, and I was one of those in the beginning, focus on self, because ain't nobody out here getting it, but you, you know, you got to be out here in the road, you, you out here in the field, and these fleet managers, they don't know that, they don't know what's going on out there, they don't know how the store manager train us, they don't know the difficulty it takes to get to the store, you know. And sometimes when you're tired, you just don't feel like picking up rotators. And you just gotta, you know, keep it pushing. You know, I don't been there, I feel you, but I um I just I just, you know, I grew past that. You know, I grew past that and I I do I go over and beyond. I do stuff I don't have to get I don't get paid for. I do a lot I don't get paid for. 
a lot. You know, so with that being said, like I'm training new store managers that don't know what they're doing. I, I'm training them how to take in a truck. Like I don't work for Dollar General, but I got I, I got to train them to take in a truck because I want my job done. I need them to know how to do it. So, you know, I, I do that. Organizing the back room for them. I mean, why should I have to organize the back room for Dollar General? It should be already ready to take in a truck. But, you know, we get a lot of stores that are not ready. You know, you can call them or you can pop up on them. They're supposed to be ready. They get emails saying your truck is going to be delivered at such and such time. <coughs> A lot of these stores, they don't, they don't be ready. So I have to, I just take it upon myself to go back there to the back room, see what kind of space I'm working with, and then I start staging the rotators and making space to bring my truck and my stop in because I'm gonna need to have workspace. And they don't pay me for that, man. You know, they don't pay me. They don't pay me to do that. I could just sit out there and just wait on them to do that, but my time is ticking. You know, my time is just ticking. So. I use my time real wisely, very wisely, and um, that's what y'all gonna have to come to uh, come to do. You know, I'm just speaking on my behalf. You know, I know some drivers y'all can relate. Some, you know, y'all like man, that's some bull. And trust me, I don't been there. You know, <clears throat> I don't been there. But um, I just want to shout out to all the drivers that that's doing their job, being safe out there. And, um, Keep bringing them rotators in, man. Because, you know, without those rotators, we can't do our job. We can't bring merchandise that we want to inside the stores. You know, it's a revolving door. They push it out to D.C. onto the truck. We take it from the truck to the stores. We bring the rotators back from the stores to the D.C. And you keep that that circle going. You keep that circle going. And if, if there's no rotators to bring back, that circle stops and then the whole operation is kind of like shut down you know the DC can't do their job they got to stop and wait on rotators we can't get our load because there's no rotators the store got to wait on their truck because there's no rotators so a lot a lot got to do with the rotators being picked up so, so keep on trekking man keep y'all head up you know Hopefully one day they're going to look into paying us for picking these rotators up until then. In the meantime, we just got to do what's in the job description or just get on another account. You know, it ain't nothing to get on another account. You know, so. I'm, uh, I'm finna go on up here and uh, make sure my my student is okay. Because we better get on the interstate and take it on in. And if y'all got any comments or questions, man, just holler at me. Comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. It's your favorite driver. Hope everybody keeping in between the lines and I'm out. Yeah.